hi welcome to the next video in the terraform series and today we are going to learn prefix uh, variable oh sorry yeah prefix variable and uh, we are going to learn random IDs random ID is a resource in terraform and we are going to talk about the output command so that we need not to go ahead and open the portal all the time and check what we have deployed but we will get the output in the same console all right so let's see the terraform random id well random id is something that will give you uh, a unique name because uh, you you need to type some name or something and then you can add the random id those would be some random generated numbers you can go to here and see about the Terraform random ID on the terraform.io. Here are the examples, and there are different arguments. Okay, so for example, if we want to create a storage account in Azure, and uh, storage account we all know should have a unique name in lower cases, so to achieve that, we can use the random ID resource and it will help us to create a unique name. Same goes for the uh, S3 bucket in AWS. Okay, so let's get back to our code and uh, variable prefix would help us to give a proper naming convention. For example, if I want to know uh, which resource group I have created with the help of Terraform, so what I'm doing, I'm putting a prefix TF at the beginning. This can be, this is very helpful in different kind of scenarios because there are times when organization wants to create some kind of naming convention, wants to put prefix in front of, you know, all other resources. So let's try to understand these three things and learn how to utilize it. And once we are through, we can check in our code in the output so let's go ahead and create a random id okay so it is very simple you need to type the resource on your main.tf type is random id random underscore id with the game name as random to reference now the byte length is equal to two we can take four or eight as you wish but i'm taking two so let's go ahead and create the resource group so there would be resource type azure rm underscore resource underscore group I'm going to give it a name. Let's give it RG. And we need two things here. We need name for the resource group and we need location. So name, we want to use the prefix so that we could add TF at the beginning of a resource group or any resources that we want to do uh, this kind of uh, approach. So let's create one variable here, variable name is prefix prefix that's just a name and the default value we are going to give it tf all right now oh, let's create one more variable for location and let's give the default value as East US. All right, good. Now, get back to the main.tf file. Now, the name would be, let's use the interpolation here. Now, we have, we are going to give the name to our resource group with the help of prefix variable so there it is and need to give a hyphen and rg 
so this is that we are defining in the code and this is coming from the prefix so what the prefix would be tf and it would be hyphen rt it should be the name of our resource group that will come to know once we deploy it okay now let's create a storage account we it's better to copy it from the terraform it would be always easier because you know i have already shared this if something's already been created don't waste to waste your time to create it again you just need to learn how to do it then save your time so we have this code for the storage account let's give it a name as store or you can make it example doesn't matter if we need to refer it we can refer it with example now we need to give the name to the storage account where we are going to utilize the random id so what we need we need few letters at the beginning so you can do like this and add or the best way is to utilize a variable for example i'm going to use project name or let's let's make it a project and the value is give it a value suppose my project is Avengers store account account so this would be the name and random ID would make it random okay so let's get back to the main.tf file now instead of this name that we have copied from the terraform.io we can go ahead and create war dot project right here this will give us that name that we have created and now we need to add one more that is a random id so we need to go ahead random id dot random dot decimal okay that's how you need to utilize the random id so the combination of these two would be the name of your storage account now here we need to correct it because it's rg in our code we need to correct this as one well. that would be rg in our code cool so we have created the variables right here we have the main.tf file right here <coughs> now let's go ahead and create the output one file named output dot tf now here we need to type output it's very simple is it exactly like uh, a variable that we create need to give the name of the output let's give it a name resource group what is the value of the output let's resource group name we can get it from here as well so let's copy this and paste it here on the value portion now we need one more output and this time we need storage account storage account name now the value is you guessed it correct here is the value of the storage account name so let's put it here in place of the value very good now let's open the terminal initiate it terraform in it now it's downloading the plugins and it will give us the plan it's, it has initiated now we have to run the plan terraform plan just to see if everything is in place or are we good to deploy so let's wait meanwhile I can show you this blog of mine I have created for the randomite it's a very small blog but you would get an idea if you want to go ahead you can have a read just a one minute of read okay let's get back to the plan it gives us the error location yes so we have missed something now we can fix these kind of issues in our code and it is it's wonderful that we we are doing it live here so it says azure rm group dot rg right here we missed the location so let's give it a location now we created the 
variable already for the location i think so let's see maybe i didn't oh yes we did so let's get back to main.tf file create war dot location i have uh, placed this code visual code in the autosave so it should be saved you can do it from the file autosave right here so this time it is done it's going to deploy three resources this is the name and this is the name of our resource group where it is right here tfrg as i said prefix hyphen rg so let's try to apply or deploy so that we can see how the output comes on the same console let's say yes now it is deploying and once it is deployed we would have the output on this console there we go so now it has been deployed this is the outputs you can see right here resource group is tfrg prefix plus what we gave we gave only the rg hyphen rg storage account name is avengers store account that we give as a project name and these are the random numbers so that it could be a unique so that's all about it so we have learned today prefix random id and output i hope this would be a learning experience for you uh, let's meet in another video thank you for watching